bundle. I'll make a motion. Oh, I'm sorry. Chris is supposed to ask first. <laughs> you're doing well, though. Whenever you're ready, Chris. I just wanted to read them one more time, but it oh. seems to be... Seems right. All right, so can we have a motion on number 8, 9, 10, and 11? Motion to approve, as written. I make a, uh, isn't it including uh, 12? No, uh, no through 11. 11. Through 11? Yeah. Oh, okay. All right. I'll make a motion that we approve uh, numbers 8, 9, 10, and 11 as written. I'll second. second that. All right. Any discussion? All in favor? 4 0. So maybe you could go 12 through 14 and then take 15 individually. Okay. Can we have a motion to approve uh, number 12 through 14 as written? Motion to approve 12 through 14 as written. Second. Any discussion? 14 is kind of a, probably the most pointed one so far. I, I, I might suggest that we do 12 and 13 and make 14 a separate vote. Sure. Fair because enough. Because it's so specific to... Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, we can change any of these too. So yeah. Well, I, ha I had no editorial changes, but okay. I, I, I would right. suggest we do 14 separately and just mm -hmm. vote on 12 and 13 mm -hmm. together. We can do that. So uh, motion for 12 and 13 as written. Motion to accept 12 and 13 as written. A second. All right. Uh, any discussion? No. The, the only discussion I have is because we had a motion earlier. Does that affect anything? Uh, we just can have no, we, we just, 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 just want to make sure we call that motion was um, withdrawn implicitly. Okay. All right. All in no favor. Other questions. Mm -hmm. All in favor. Four nothing. All right. So fourteen. So do fourteen and fifteen individually. Um, okay, so can we have a motion to approve number 14? I'll make a motion we approve number 14 as written. Okay. Second it. Second. Any discussion? So we feel like that encompassed everything we were saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. All in favor? 4 0. All right, and can we have a motion to approve number 15? Make a motion we approve number 15 as written. Second. Any, another, obviously this is another pointed one, so kind of important we have it right. We feel this wording is summing it up well. Mm -hmm. All right, all in favor? All right, four on. Okay, so the next part is, uh, legal analysis and conclusions. The legal analysis is borrowed, um, I think, word for word from the, the standards uh, that we talked about, uh, the board rules. Um, and then, so you see that coming down to the end of page three, and then the kind of the wrap-up paragraph is the one that starts with the word because, because of the insufficiency of the appraisal, the lack of additional information. The board found that the taxpayer had failed to provide sufficient inf uh, information to prove the town's assessment was manifestly wrong. Remember that manifestly wrong, that's kind of like the big term in what we do here that, that comes up all the time and it's part of the case law and part of your regulations. And thus, the, the taxpayer is not entitled to an abatement uh, and the assessor's uh, uh, assessment is, is confirmed. And then the final sentence is a housekeeping um, bit about the chair pro temp, tempore, how do you say that? It, that's 
that sounds like something from Congress or, or <coughs> President. Tempore is, I think, Tempor a, a, a Tempor dish you find at an right. Asian restaurant. Right. <laughs> I think it's Tempore. Ben gets the credit for that. Thank you, Ben. Acting chair, you could have. So I, 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 I think you, unless you feel comfortably uh, otherwise or not comfortable, I think you could just say move to approve the legal analysis and conclusions. Uh, and then one more vote on the decision. All right, so let's, um, we have a motion to approve the legal analysis and conclusions as written. I, I will move that we take, the, we accept the uh, legal analysis <coughs> and conclusions as written. Second. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? I think one oh. thing, yeah. for discussion before that I just, sure. I missed when we were doing number 14 is that um, we probably should make mention of the fact that certain properties that were of much closer like properties were omitted in the, and, uh, in the appraisal because there was the, the Carfax or the um, Carfax. Uh, what do you say? Oh, Carmax. 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 Carmax, yeah. Which would have been a great uh, subject proper. Uh, so you want to reconsider your vote on paragraph 14, so. Uh, when do you take, when do you, when do you finish do we need this legal analysis motion? And then go back. Yeah. Okay, let's. We'll, we'll do that. Let's. We'll go back. We should just probably go on record okay. that. All right. So we have a. Um, we have a first and a second on accepting the legal analysis and conclusions. Any discussion on that particular one, at all? All in favor? All right. Four zero. All right. So. So what? What I would recommend you do is. Um, Melinda, if you wanted to make a motion to reconsider, because you were vo voting on the side, uh, reconsider your vote on um, the finding 14, and then the board um, votes yes on that, and then um, a second vote for the exact language sure. that you feel is well, convoluted, but I think I know where you're going with Yeah, it. I just make sure, I want to make sure we go on record with pointing that yeah. out yeah. that that was that, so that I think, was the I think to get no, there, you've got to go to two here, steps. So. Yeah. The, the first step is to, to take, because uh, you already voted to approve it as written. Yeah. The first step then is to sort of undo that, and the second step is to uh, redo it the way you see the board okay. sees fit. So, uh, so somebody the motion is to uh, reconsider, reconsider our, our approval 14. of, 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 okay. of finding on 14. Can you motion that? Okay, so motion to reconsider findings on uh, number 14. And do we have a second? Uh, I'll second it. Okay, all right, all in favor? Well, we have to have discussion. That's right, discussion. So that, yeah. Well, no, we're no, we're just undoing the decision, right? You just you, we can discuss it. Any discussion oh. on? We're kind of erasing this. Oh, we're yeah. just erasing. We're erasing. Right. Right. Yes, let's erase. Sorry, sorry. Okay. okay. No, you're, you're away right. with this. So you're okay. All right, four four zero. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, so um, it's come up to rediscuss the wording of number fourteen, maybe to include some additional wording. I think that's. I that's would just um, like to see us include something about uh, like property, or, or property closer to the subject. There were better comparables as well. Better what you're comparables to get at. were so yes were, were, omitted. were omitted or excluded okay. um, from the appraiser's report and and would have been would have better represented the value of the property. I don't quite quite know how we should word that. I'm working on something here. He's, he's the wordsmith. He's yeah. the man. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, I would agree. Well, the words get and, in a, and in a way, it says it in reverse, because it says yes. that there are inferior markets and their locations and their amenities were not consistent with the property that we were evaluating. Right. So, so you just, just want to enhance we, that, as I guess. We definitely so. want to. I just want to make sure that it's clear that, that there was there were no, other no question yeah. that there weren't, that there, you know, that, that there were, was a lack of other properties that should have been considered. So how about this at the end, after the word property, period, say, and better comparable properties were omitted from the appraisal? Is that kind of? Yeah, or more properties more consistent. Uh, well, we just said committed. that these were not consistent, so I think. Appropriate? More, oh, and more yeah. appropriate. Yeah. And more appropriate. 
Yeah, comparables should be in there somehow in that sense. And so more appropriate comparable uh, properties uh, were, were omitted available. From, yeah. Were omitted from the appraisal. Yeah, uh, yeah, I like were available. And okay. were and okay. Omitted. Were available and omitted. Yes. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You got that. So reread uh, that sentence. Okay, so it's a, it's a it's a new clause, sort of at, at the it's end. It's its own sentence. <coughs> At the end? Well, I was going to just make it a big, long run-on sentence. You're going to just run the, run the whole number 14, uh, new number 14. Sure. Numbers. The board does not find the appraisal credible, period. This is particularly the case due to the use of comparable properties without proper adjustments that are far from inferior, that are from far inferior markets and possess characteristics, i.e. age, proximate location, and provided amenities that are not consistent with the properties. Um, then you could say, period, more appropriate comparable properties were available but omitted from the appraisal. I'm good with that. Good. Motion to accept that. Oh, actually, we're going to wait for yep. you, right? No, it, we can motion to accept that, yeah. You, you want to make that motion? Yes. All right. Were we available? <coughs> Let me just read that last sentence again. More appropriate comparable properties were available but omitted from the appraisal. Yes. So we have, a, we have a motion to approve those I'll, as I'll rewritten. Second, second. Any uh, further discussion? All in favor? 4-0. Thank you. All right. So lastly, no, that's why we do it, right? So I'm sorry, sometimes, I this, sooner. sometimes yeah, yeah. this stuff Good can point. go, you know, to the state. So we want to have, have it as, as well written mm -hmm. as possible. Correct. Yes, motion. As rewritten. I guess. Well, as amended. As amended. As amended. Okay. As amended. Much better word than rewritten. So we, so we need like a wrap up. Um, Dragnet you know, decision. Someone making a motion. I assume based on the findings you've adapted so far, adopted so far, to deny the taxpayer's appeal Anybody and affirm the valuation of the property. Anybody have a motion to deny this? Um, and what was the last part you just said? Uh, and affirm the valuation of the property. Just wait. Just we, accept this affirm. last sentence. Yes. The yes. decision sentence. I'll make a motion that we accept the decision sentence as written. I'll second. Oh, it is right there. Yeah, okay. Any discussion? No? Hearing none, all in favor? All right, the motion carries to deny. Okay. Well done. And I spoke too soon about leaving something on the printer because I don't have the other one, Tracy. It's uh, almost identical. Oh, do I have it? You do? Uh, yeah, I got this is, is this a second copy for you, or is this the no, Anybody I lacking any, anything? Oh, I've already read it all over anyway. I don't that. I didn't see anything. Okay, so correct me if I'm wrong, but when we get on the Sam's Club Real Estate Business Trust, everything's the same as the Walmart, except for the property location and the amount. All the other, it. all the other, yeah, all the other wording. I feel like there was one thing that we mentioned in that, and I couldn't find it in my notes. That was, uh, there was yeah. something at the end, and it may have even been you that that had something um, added that was different. <laughs> no, but it was good, and it was, it was. I mean, I. We'll figure that out. Figure out what happened. I couldn't find it in my notes, but. Um, I think there was one thing that the numbers um, actually changed from their from their written appeal because everything he came up with, remember, was eight million four hundred thousand, and that wasn't the actual number um, that he originally put in his appeal. So I have a different request, but it, but I, I guess I don't know how you do that. Um, <coughs> Uh, the, the reason I brought it up was, were you going to just kind of fly through this all at once? Is that what you were thinking? Or well, I think you got to use the similar thing where we go the same bunch okay. of paragraphs. 
right. um, let's just make sure right, we don't get it too ahead of ourselves thinking it's exactly the same. Yeah. yeah, I don't think anything changes until we get to number 14. Just Do we have the right number then on the amount sought though on that well, 6 million 6208? Their, their evaluation is 13 million 208. But um, then the appraisal all came back at 8 million four in their documentation, which does not leave the same balance request. And we and talked we, about that. We Remember did. We talked I think about that's that? what it was. So yeah. the only thing I had here for a comment before we, you know, mm -hmm. go through this introduction was do we adjust it? I mean, we can leave. This was their original request. But due to the fact that the appraisal report that they did came back to $8 million for, their request changed. So do we have to include that? Because... Yeah, I think we should say. If what, anybody looks at this, it doesn't tie. Yeah, we want it to tie. That's, that's why the lawyers are here. The well, I'm up. a money per, I'm a the abatement's up by the appeal. Oh. This didn't balance. <laughs> See, the other one came back the same as it was expected to have been. So they want a total assessment of 8.4 million. Right, out of the 13.2, so that so what they'd be really asking for a rebate is 4 million 808,800. 4 million 808. Which I had in my notes from last yeah. meeting. Yeah, I remember that, is that mm -hmm. their appraisal was actually higher than what they originally requested. Right, so, and, so, and so they, they requested the, less of an abatement. Right, so what we could do is um, change paragraph one instead of saying at the end uh, the, the abatement thought was 6208. Eight hundred. It would be forty-eight oh eight eight hundred as, as for you know. a for a total assessment of eight million four hundred. Yes. Okay. Everybody with us? Yep. Mm -hmm. Same in both cases. Yeah. 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 Oh, the other one was eight, a different yeah, number too. Was two. Oh. That's why the the supersedes language is in paragraph eleven on both. Mm -hmm. Because the the beginning was meant to reflect the application. Because the application stated uh, amount, yes. but then the appraisal so it's in already cases stated okay. an amount that was lower. Okay, that can so work. So we've already got a factor in that. That can work, thanks. So, so we can ignore it then yeah. in paragraph one. So in paragraph 11, we, 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 he kind of comes done. back around to it and says yeah. that... Well, ben yeah. may need a raise, by the way. That's it's, nicely done. It, 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 meant, it was meant to at least account for the fact that when looking at the original application or the appeal application that came in, there was a request for an amount, and then there was an appraisal that came in at a different amount. Yeah. And so, the findings of fact, if you adjust, if you adopt them, which you've just done in the Walmart case, talk about the fact that based on their appraisal, um, you are assuming that that supersedes the originally requested amount. So the Fair enough. The, that works. If okay. it, perfect. So you can leave uh, the as written. Yeah, we're going to leave paragraph one of them. Leave as is. Okay. Okay, thanks. Well done, Ben. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. So I, actually, we didn't vote on that before. So maybe we're going to go on to the findings of fact, and we'll see. Okay, one and two, three separately. Um, All right. Can we have a motion to approve uh, the number one and number two in the findings of fact as written? Motion to approve findings. I think of we're fact separating one. out the credibility one. Okay, so two. Okay. And we'll get rid of that. Numbers that that's a PDF and there's an issue that would be first in the file. See who's got that little number was sign. The, was the motion made? It was. Yeah, I'd second, second the motion. motion. All right. Um, all, any discussion? All in favor? Four of three. We have a motion to approve number the third finding of fact. Make a motion to approve. Paragraph three as written. Second. Any discussion? All in favor? 4-0. Moving on to number four. 
So I think the last time we went four, four, four through seven. seven. Four, four through seven, seven. Yeah. okay. Yeah. All right, moving on. Uh, motion, can we have a motion to approve findings of fact number four through seven? Uh, I'll make a motion we approve um, findings of fact number four through seven as written. All right, and a second? Second that. Any discussion? All in favor? All right, 4-0. And we went eight through eleven, if I'm not mistaken, right? Or eight through yeah, eight through eleven. All right. So we will go eight through eleven. Uh, can I have a motion to approve findings of fact number eight, nine, ten, and eleven? Motion to approve findings of fact eight, nine, ten, and eleven. All right. A second. Second that. Any discussion? All in favor? Four zero. I'm going to put 16 in the, on this one and 15 on the other one. I was just looking at that to figure out which one was um, It's because number 14 is actually inserted in between the um, where, if you, uh -huh. if you compare the two, and it's because it's referencing back to the fact that we, we, we avoided more discussion on this particular case because we already had gone through the appraisal process for the other one, and right. it was, they were very similar. So we could do 12 through 14, and the last time we did 15 individually, uh -huh. and 16 individually. All right, so... I would probably do 12 and 13 and 14 and 15 Yeah, 12, together. 13, 14. I would do 14 and 15 together and do 12 and 13 separately. Oh, sure. Okay, we can do that. We'll do 12 and 13. Can I have a motion to approve number 12 and 13 in the okay. finding of fact? Motion to approve number 12 and 13 in the findings of fact as written. And a second? I'll second. Any discussion? All in favor? Oh, hang on here. On, did we do 15? No, we haven't. We just, we just, oh, we just did 12 and 13. 12 and 13. 13. Okay. Right. So I would do 14 and 15 now. Okay. Right. All right. Can, I, can we have a motion to approve findings of fact number 14 and 15, please? Uh, I'll make a motion. We approve 14 oh. and 15 as written. Hold on. Sorry. I know where you're going. So we don't have to oh, wait, wait, wait. Yes. Thank yeah, you. are we going to add Thank that you. added language to, to... Yeah, when we get to the discussion part of this with of, of 15? Yeah, I was going to say, I thought we'd do that in the discussion. Okay. 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 <laughs> yeah. Does that sound right to everybody? Yes. Okay. All right, so we... Is that, or should we take them sing well, singularly because we, of that? Is that what you're asking? Well, as long as the motion is not to accept 15 as written, because I, I would assume at least... Gotcha. So let's, right. let's make the motion to accept 14 as written. All right, I'll, make, I'll amend my motion. Okay, I'll make a motion that we accept 14 as written. Second. Second. Any discussion on 14? All in favor? 4 0. All right, so 15, just so we can get into the discussion, can we have a motion to accept the findings of fact number 15? Because we have to wait for discussion. To we have to wait for the discussion to. Or you could just say, uh, I approve 15, but change the language to... A yeah, motion to approve 15, change the language to this, the same uh, sentence that we inserted on paragraph on, on the Walmart. 14 for the Walmart. And everybody remembers what that was? That yeah, that more is. appropriate. Oh, second that available. <laughs> right. Right. Any further discussion on that? All in favor? Carries 4 0. And number 16 in the findings of fact, can we have a motion to approve that as written? I'll make a motion to approve 16 as written. Second. All right. Uh, any more discussion? All in favor? Carries 4 0. Moving on to the legal analysis and conclusions, I have a motion to approve. Legal analysis and conclusions as written. Make a motion that we approve the legal analysis and conclusion as written. I'll second that. Any further discussion? All in favor? Carries 4 0. All right. And Last but not least, can we have a motion to approve the decision as written? Motion to approve the decision as written. In a second. I'll second that. Any further discussion? All in favor? 
carries 4 0. Great. So, what we can do, Tracy and Chris, um, is email you tomorrow morning those um, revised changes, and then you want to just slide by and work the town hall. Sometime in the next few days, and then we um, see it three weeks from next Tuesday. Allowing yeah. In this case, we have you wrote it in, in, right in the last paragraph. Alan's question, in case everybody uh, didn't, anybody didn't hear it, was don't we get the board's approval to allow the chair to sign? Because the normal practice would be everybody would be to sign, um, but to streamline things and move things along, you have voted to allow Chris as acting chair to sign, and that's written in there. Right. Does but that work? Some, well, sometimes it, there's there's ministerial changes to it, but that, uh, that don't change the content. R right. He's authorized to change the. Uh, to sign this decision um, based exactly on what was discussed tonight, absent, uh, a, except for maybe a typo or a non sub. If, if all of a sudden we realized that the numbering was wrong or, or, or something it's like that. Clerical error. Yeah, a, cler a clerical error. But you're not authorized to make any substantive changes. That's good clarification. You can't get in there and say, well, I, I actually would have worded this up a little bit better. Yeah. No, I'm not saying you would, but I've seen other, other chairmen. <laughs> Take some latitude in these with, cases. With so. the point of order, if I may, and I'm sorry, I know I'm not supposed to speak no. uh, You're in deliberation, but the votes have been to accept the written decision, but no one's actually voted to deny the appeal. Yeah, well, this, they, they did. They voted they both, to adopt a decision in which they said that they unanimously voted to deny yeah, the appeal. Yes. Right, we but did. they didn't unanimously vote to deny the appeal. We did in the first one, you're right. We did in the second one. Okay. But we did in the first one. I do That's remember right, there was did. an extra vote. You're right. There was an extra vote. So, six of one, half of the other. Yeah. Well, the sentence reads, accordingly, the board voted unanimously to deny the taxpayer's appeal and affirm the valuation of the property. I, I understand. I, I, and we all we all voted in we, favor of that. If there's if Should there's some. That? Yeah. Uh, uh, with that clarification you put on the record and everybody's nodding in agreement, I think you're safe. Then we're okay. fine. I just yes. Thank you. Sure we go on the record the exactly. Yeah, the board I think did unanimously vote to deny both appeals. Thank you. Perfect. Are we done, George? Um, so you, you can make arrangements with Tracy, come by and sign that, and then uh, the decision will be sent out to the applicant that's in, in Tracy's wheelhouse. And, I think we're done as far as um, my participation. Okay. Well, thank you both, uh, Chris and Gerwood. Um, and so, is there any other business to be heard coming before the board, Tracy? Anything we need to know coming up? No. Not to know, which is interesting. Um, I belatedly, I would like to uh, welcome um, Marjorie DeSantis and, and Melinda, Melinda Torres. Mm -hmm. to the board. Um, thank you yeah. for serving the Board of Assessment Review for the Town of Scarborough. Um, that's much appreciated. And uh, your, your presence here is uh, certainly um, well accepted. So thank you both. All right. All right. Hearing no more business, any, any more business before the board, I would like to move for adjournment. Thank you very much, everyone. Well, I did both.